Hassan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at a new way of pre-training transformer language models. So Google researchers have introduced something called as Unified Language Learner UL2. This is a novel language pre-training paradigm for pre-training transformer language models. Okay. So what is the key idea over here? The key idea over here is that we can use a mixture of denoisers, okay, which can uh, sample from your text using varied set of objectives. And this in turn improves the performance on downstream tasks like few short learning, uh, language understanding, question answering and things like that. Okay. So before going into what is this mixture of denoisers, uh, if you look at the existing denoisers, you have uh, decoder, autoregressive decoder only architectures like PALM or GPT-3, where the model is trained to predict the next word for a given prefix phrase. Or you have span corruption based encoder decoder architectures, where the training objective is to recover the subset of words masked out of the input. You also have masked language modeling in bird-like models right, for pre-training. So the disadvantages are that these uh, models like T5, uh, they perform well on supervised fine tuning tasks, but struggle with few short in context learning. Whereas GPT-3 palm kind of models are good for open ended text generation and prompt based learning, but they may perform suboptimally on fine tuning tasks. So can you actually combine these pre-training methods? Okay. That is what they have done over here, uh, you know, where they've introduced a mixture of denoisers. Okay. So now if you look at the language modeling objectives and architectures, so you have causal language model, okay, which is trained to predict full sequence length of uh, text. So only recognizes tokens in the target output. Okay. Then you have prefix language model. So where you specify a prefix uh, input and from that output is generated. Okay. The span corruption objective where you have contiguous spans from the inputs, which are uh, masked and the model is trained to predict these masked spans. So these are the common objectives, right? Which, in which are used in large language models currently. Okay. So now what UL2 does is that it makes a mixture of this framework. Okay. So that is what they call as mixture of denoisers. Okay. So this particular model is trained using a mixture of three denoising tasks. One is R denoising or regular span cor uh, corruption which emulates the standard T5 span corruption objective. Then you have X denoising, which is extreme span corruption. And then we have S denoising, which is like your prefix language model. Okay. So during pre-training, they sample from available denoising tasks based on user specified ratios. So the user can specify a combination of how much of R denoising needs to be done. Okay. How much of X denoising needs to be done? How much of S denoising needs to be done in the training in pre-training? Okay. So what they do is that uh, there is this token which is appended to the uh, input R, X or S based on which the denoising is done. Okay. So here they have given examples of uh, these uh, denoising objectives. So the first one is your uh, uh, R denoiser, short, uh, short span, low corruption. Okay. So this is like uh, S denoiser, sequential prefix. So you see that some part of text was uh, denoised. Right. So this is your uh, X denoiser long span, low corruption. So you can have different combinations over here. Okay. Of X denoiser, you can have different com uh, combinations of R denoising similarly for S denoising. Okay. So that is what is being shown in this visualization. If you can see this is prefix based uh, S denoiser, right. Then you can have your uh, X denoiser long span, low corruption, extreme denoising. Then you have your uh, short span, uh, high corruption X denoiser again, right? So you also have, this is your R denoiser short span low corruption. So the idea is that you can have a mix of these denoising objectives for pre-training instead of just using say only regular span corruption or only prefix based, uh, you know, denoising. So this helps the transformer language model give very good representations for of text for downstream tasks. Okay. So that is what they have shown over here, uh, where they have measured the performance of these models on, uh, you know, super glue, uh, basically on this benchmark data set, where they've shown the performance. And what they see over here is that these are your, uh, 
UL2 encoder decoder model and UL2 decoder model they show significant performance improvement over say just the previous uh, objectives of prefix LM or autoregressor model for GPT kind of models. In the span correction, uh, corruption based uh, you know decoders or prefix based uh, language encoder decoder so this is the performance of UL2. So it shows improved performance in both uh, in context learning and fine tuning of tasks. Okay. So even in few short, uh, few short prompting or uh, chain of thought reasoning, this model considerably shows better improved performance when compared to much larger language models like GPT-3 or PAM. And this model is just uh, having 20 billion parameters compared to you know these huge numbers in these models, right? So this is a new way of pre-training transformers. Ideally, kind of combining objectives of different pre-training objectives of different transformers into one, where the users can specify the combination of uh, ratios, right? For these different pre-training objectives. So this is quite an interesting work, and uh, yeah, this means that still we have a lot of optimization which can be done in the pre-training of transformers to give uh, better results. It is still uh, a lot of exploration can be done. Uh, and this also can become a hyperparameter, the ratios of uh, these denoising functions for pre-training transformers. And then you can fine tune them on the downstream tasks like text classification, text generation, question answering and other kind of tasks. So they have released this 20 billion model checkpoint. Um, it is also present in Hugging Face when I checked it, uh, you know, in Hugging Face they have, uh, it is present over here. You can use it from there as well. So here they have given examples of how to use SD noising, how to use R denoising, and uh, how to use X denoising. So they have given examples over here. So using this, you can actually uh, pre-train your transformer on your data set. I hope this short video on UL220 billion, um, this uh, unified language learner model is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll put a link to this blog as well as the Hugging Face page in the description of the video. See you in another video. Happy learning.